get your sad and that point sharp, you'll have good solid steel. Generally, a lot, a lot of people will take the long straight edges, they'll, they'll hang it you know, like this somewhere, and then they take uh, a couple of long straight edges, and then they, you can kind of look at to, to find, it, you need a backlight though, so I'm going to use this on this other side, so you're, you're on your your straight edges cross. See this side here is got a yeah, it's hollow on one side, but it's got a bump on the other. So that'll tell you where your lumps and bumps is. And the saw is sitting there naturally, so it's going to just hang where it needs to be. So we got a little bit of a bump right there, a little more of a bump right there. You kind of can you see the light through there? Yeah, or, I see the light. Right there, there's a bump right in there. Okay, now another way to do it, that's that's the traditional way. And that's what you'll see being done in some of the force, uh, force service video services. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I will look through, get a general idea where, what the high spot is. Okay, so it looks like the bump is on high on that side. And I use a backlight, so this is a straight edge on this end. And I'll go along until I see a little bit of a bump. Looks like right there. And then I'll hammer down. You get that high spot down. There's a little bit of a high spot right there. Get that down. See if I can run my eyeball down the back of that saw and see if it's straight. Now we still have some back in this area. A little more right there. Yes, it's pretty visible right here. It goes across. It's right lump right there. And being the ridge is going in this direction, mm -hmm. so I'm using the hammer face. The long face in that direction. Yeah. Okay. Because you're you're trying to hammer that that lump down right there. Put them on right there. One right back in here. And a little more right there. Okay. Now, pick it out. Now I run my eyeball down the back side, and it's just. A little bit right there it wants to dive in that direction. So then I'll come back. Yeah, can okay. come around this way, Joel. Okay, you see you see the straight edge where where I'm rocking it across yeah. the, the high point? Yeah, I see where the light's pouring through. Yeah, so there there's like a hill right there. And sometimes you can Take your straight edge and rub it back and forth and it'll leave a little shiny spot on your saw right there. Mm -hmm. And you can see it reflecting on the light where the, where the straight edge scuffed the mm -hmm. saw steel. So that's all your high spots. And so what you do then is you, you hammer right on those high spots. And you get it leveled out a little bit more there. Okay. Now sometimes you don't see. You'll have a high spot. Something will show in there, and the saw is bent. But you look this way, and there's nothing there. No. Oh, the lump might be going in this direction. So you flip your light around this way, and you do the same back this way. And so then you. Now you got to remember, this is a tapered saw. So 
part of it might be a little hollow. Looks like there's a hollow right through here. Lengthways. Just keep going down. And then we get to here. Now all of a sudden it just looks like a ridge right in there. But then it's it's got tapered grind, so that might be just the high spot of the saw. Get to here and it goes a hollow right through here. So now we'll flip it over and check, and check it. Lump. And if it's a lump on that side, then we know we gotta hammer that down. Yep, there's a lump right there. Okay, so now I, I changed the hammer the other direction because if the lump is running this direction, or you can turn it this way and hammer this direction because that's the long face of the hammer there. So that got most of it out right there. And we got that down. Now it shows a little bit of a dish right there. I'll flip it over. Check this guy here. It'll be right in there. Find the high spot. Yep, right, right through there. Yeah, I'll do the same there. No more. So, more than likely, what happened, because the saw didn't have a lot of set, it got stuck when the log pinched. And if they didn't have it opened up enough, it pinched. And this was the free end. Quench in oil or something like that. Yeah. Where soft steel is, is not quenched, it's the hardness is determined by the recipe of the amount of carbon that's in it. Take a little watching that black strip at the top. Right, all the way 